hey guys welcome to my channel um so this is my room tour and this is how it just looks when you first walk in just to just give you an overview of my layout okay so i'm gonna start with my closet my closet you know i just i keep my ironing board here this little ring thing was already there in the room when I moved in, so I didn't have to buy that. And it's not too much in my closet, but what I will say is if you put your clothes in color order, it won't look neater, but it'll look a little bit more eye appealing. So that's just a tip. Uh, like I said, there's really not too much in here. So let's move on. Uh, the next part I want to show y'all is my desk. So let's just start with the clock. I got my clock from Walmart and I can't, I still can't tell if it's rose gold or if it's gold gold. So it looks a little gold on the camera, but in person, depending how you're looking at it, it might look rose gold. And I have this here. This is also from Walmart. If you've done any dorm shopping over the summer, like you have definitely seen that in Walmart. Um, I also got the planner from Walmart too. And then I just have some books here, a picture. And my uncle, he passed away last year and he wrote me a letter basically telling me that he was so proud of me and to stay in school. So I framed it and I just keep it on my desk as motivation. I have my makeup case and i have this so i don't know if you can tell but this is the same as this and all this is is like a like a sticky paper like a wallpaper and it was like six dollars from home depot and you don't have to worry about like getting a fine or anything because it just peels right up um i have this printer this is y'all this is the most basic printer it doesn't cost too much. All it does, you hook it up to your computer and you print. That's it. You can't make copies. You can't. It does have color. It does have color. You can't make copies. You can't scan nothing. So if you're looking for something that's just going to print, this is this Canon IP2820 is what you need. It, I've never had a problem with it or anything like that. So I really recommend that. And then I have my TV. My TV came with the room, so I didn't have to pay for this. Um, and if you're wondering how I get my computer screen on there, it's just the HDMI cord. And I like doing this, you know, if I want to watch Hulu or if I have a lot of people in my room and, you know, I don't want everybody crowding around a computer. I can just hook it up to the HDMI cord and everybody can see. So over here, I have my tapestry and my lights. I wanna say my lights came from Joanne's Fabric Store and my tapestry came from Amazon. And then over here, I have my dream catcher. I got the dream catcher from Five and Below so, of course, it was only $5. I got this idea from another YouTuber, actually, to do the, the marble and a dream catcher. And then over here, I have just my calendar. My scriptures came off. I need to rewrite them. And then a quote from my dad. And then those are just some schools that I'm applying to for internships. And then back to my bed, I have this, which is the same as this, which is the same as this. And all of this came from Joanne's fabric store. Like instead of buying like a, a 60 or like a $50 rug, you know, all I did was I bought the fabric and I cut it myself. Yes, did I cut it myself? No, I bought the fabric and they cut the width for the throw. And then I had them cut the width for the rug. 
But what I did, I did like a DIY rug where I put like the stuff at the bottom so that it doesn't slide and all of that. And then I just cut a little piece off of the rug just to put right there. Mm, is there anything else about my bed? So I got this comforter from Walmart. And I got this pillow from Five and Below. That pillow is from Walmart with a normal just cover on it. This pillow I had since freshman year. So didn't spend so much on the bed. Looks really nice though, but I didn't spend too much. And then this artwork I bought. But I mean, if you if you good with art and stuff, you could really do something like this yourself. And then above it. It's just a blank canvas and I put the same sticky stuff on here that's on my desk. So I had some a little extra left over so I just decided to get creative. And then I have another Walmart holder and then I got this from Walmart too. This also comes from Walmart. And then I have some more. Yeah, I went crazy on Walmart. I have so many. I have this. This is where I keep like my wallet and well these are both wallets but I keep my wallet and keys in here so when I walk in it's, it's right there. I don't have to look for it. And then I have this. This is really what you're supposed to put like pencils and stuff but I just have this cute cup. This comes from this is not my cup. This is Sydney's cup but I just keep that there. And then I have a hamper, my chair. My chair comes from home. My parents weren't using it anymore. So, yeah, you see my book sack sitting there. It comes from Ross, if you're wondering. And then I have this trunk. Now, my trunk is the most expensive thing in my room. And I think that's a good thing because if you're like me, you're going to have your trunk for more than one year. So you need to get something that's worth the quality. So I got my trunk for Bed Bath & Beyond. And then, oh my goodness, how could I forget this? This is from Walmart, $15. And under it, it lifts up. I just keep some shoes in there. And then, you know, it serves as a seat, decoration, and a shoe holder. So that's really neat. So I think that's really about it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I haven't shown you. Um, like I said, most of the things that I hang up are hung up with command strips. So, you know, at the end of the year, instead of like nailing this to the wall, all I have to do is like pull it straight down and it won't mess up anything. So this is just another look at the bed. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I got this idea from another YouTuber to do it like this, the with the backdrop and the dream catcher. And everything else, you know, is just a mixture of my creativity and other YouTubers. So so I hope y'all enjoyed the room tour. Um, I hope it's just motivation if you're thinking about um, designing your room or making it look nice. Like, you know, maybe growing up you weren't able to have the room that you wanted, but, you know, when you come to college you want a, a nice room or maybe you just wanted to see it, how other people do their rooms. But I just wanted to say, like, don't let people discourage you from making your room look how you want it to look because you're going to have to move in and move out anyway. So you might as well. And you're going to be you're gonna be there the whole year. So you might as well be in a space that you're comfortable, that you actually like and have your personality to it. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And goodbye.